15 Things You Didn't Know About Mohammed bin Salman Al Said Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers, and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Today we're revealing some interesting and surprising facts about one of the most influential leaders of the world, Mohammed bin Salman, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. Mohammed bin Salman Al Said, now commonly referred to as MBS, was born August 31, 1985 in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. He's the eldest son of King Salman and his third wife, Fada bint Falah bin Sultan. After attending King Saud University, he worked a few years in the private sector before becoming his father's personal aide in 2009. His father was the governor of Riyadh province at the time. He then gained a number of titles, including Secretary General of the Riyadh Competitive Council. In June 2017, he was appointed the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia by his father, making him the heir apparent to the throne. He is currently thought to be the real power behind the throne and has already implemented a number of significant changes in the country. There's no doubt that Mohammed bin Salman has considerable influence, ambition, and success. So, let's take a closer look now at this powerful leader with the 15 things you didn't know about Mohammed bin Salman. Number 1. He's the first of the royal family to oversee the state oil company. Saudi Arabia's state-owned oil company is called Saudi Aramco, or the Saudi Arabian Oil Company. It is the most valuable company in the world, with a market value that's estimated between $2 trillion and $10 trillion. MBS chairs the Supreme Board of Aramco, making him the first of the royal family to oversee the state oil company directly. The company is currently owned 100% by the Saudi Arabian government, but MBS has plans in the near future to offer public shares of the company for the first time. Number 2. He Married His Cousin in 2008 Mohammed bin Salman married his first cousin, Princess Sarah bint Mashur bin Abdulaziz, in 2008. They have four children together, Prince Salman, Prince Mashur, Princess Fada, and Princess Nora and she is his only wife. Number 3. He graduated second in his class Unlike many Saudi royals, MBS has never been educated outside of Saudi Arabia. He attended King Saud University, where he earned a bachelor's degree in law and graduated second in his class. Number 4. He bought the most expensive painting in the world Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi is one of only less than 20 authenticated da Vinci paintings in existence, and it was up for sale at Christie's Auction House in December of 2017. A mystery bidder phoned in a record-breaking bid of $450.3 million, making it the most expensive painting ever sold. The following month, it was revealed the painting would be displayed at the Louvre Abu Dhabi, and the owner of the painting was ultimately revealed to be Mohammed bin Salman. Number 5. He Had Famous Billionaire al Walid bin Talal Arrested Shortly after he was appointed Crown Prince in 2017, he ordered the arrests of hundreds of princes, businessmen, and government officials on money laundering and corruption charges. Most of the accused were detained at the luxurious Ritz-Carlton Hotel in Riyadh. Among those detained were billionaire Prince al Walid bin Talal, who is frequently seen as a commentator on English news channels and is a major investor in Citi, Twitter, and News Corp. Most of the detainees reached a settlement agreement in order to be released, and MBS stated that over $100 billion of fraudulently obtained money and assets were recovered, and $6 billion of that is said to have come from Prince Al Walid bin Talal. Number 6. He was behind the easement of several laws that restrict women's rights. MBS is widely considered to be one of the most powerful leaders in Saudi Arabia, and he has already implemented a number of reforms, including the easement of several laws that restrict women's rights. Thanks to his direct influence, women in Saudi Arabia have been given the right to drive as of June 2018, and they can also own a business, attend a sporting event, and join the military. He also hopes for 30% of the workforce to be women in the near future. Number 7. His net worth is over $3 billion. 
Although his exact net worth is not known, his estimated wealth is over $3 billion and his annual income is about $480 million. His net worth has increased about 25% since his father became king. Number 8. He Owns At Least 18 Luxury Cars like many of the royals in the House of Saud, MBS has an impressive luxury car collection. He owns at least 18 luxury vehicles, including a Ferrari, Bentley, Bugatti, Lamborghini, and a Rolls Royce. His total collection is worth more than $23 million. Number 9. He reopened movie theaters for the first time since the 1970s. MBS created a new entertainment authority which has brought numerous concerts to the region that had previously not held many such events. The authority also organized the country's first Comic-Con comic book convention, a YouTube fan fest, and an American-style monster truck rally. Another big change that MBS implemented was the reopening of the nation's cinemas, where movies are now being shown for the first time since the 1970s. Number 10. He Bought a $300 Million French Chateau in 2015 In 2015, Mohammed bin Salman bought the Chateau Louis XIV west of Paris, France for about $300 million. The home appears to be a 17th century chateau, but it was newly constructed at the time of purchase. It has a cinema, a deluxe swimming pool, fountains that can be controlled with an iPhone, and a moat with a transparent underwater chamber where koi carp can be observed swimming. The 57-acre yard has manicured gardens and a maze. It was reported to be the most expensive private home in the world at the time of purchase by the New York Times. However, Indian businessman Mukesh Ambani's home is valued around $1 billion. You can find out some more about it by clicking in the top right corner to watch our video, 15 Things You Didn't Know About Mukesh Ambani. Number 11. The King Assigns Him One Book A Week To Read it seems even crown princes aren't exempt from doing their homework. MBS has stated that his father, King Salman, assigns him one book per week to read, and he gets quizzed on the book. He says his father told him, if you read the history of 1,000 years, you'll have the experience of 1,000 years. Number 12. He's the youngest defense minister in the world. When his father became king of Saudi Arabia back in 2015, Mohammed was appointed the defense minister, becoming the youngest minister of defense the world has ever seen at the age of 30. One of his first moves as defense minister was to lead Saudi Arabia into a war with the neighboring country Yemen, which has proven to be a very controversial decision that resulted in many civilian casualties and an escalation of Yemen's humanitarian crisis. Number 13. He bought a $500 million yacht on the spot. While on holiday in the south of France, a 440-foot yacht caught MBS's eye. The yacht, called the Serene, was owned by a Russian tycoon. MBS sent an aide over to buy the yacht. The sale was completed within a few hours for the amount of $500 million, and the Russian moved off the ship the same day. The yacht purchase was originally sealed with the help of lawyers and accountants in Germany, Bermuda, and the Isle of Man, but the purchase price was revealed through the Paradise Papers document leak. Number 14. He threw an $8 million party in the Maldives To be honest, $8 million seems pretty low for what you might expect for a party thrown by Saudi royals, who aren't exactly known for their restraint when it comes to spending money. But this party was controversial nonetheless because right after MBS launched an air campaign against Yemen, he took off for the Maldives to enjoy a luxurious holiday. He rented a private island where he and his traveling companions took up residence in 43 villas for a two-week stay. He also invited several celebrity guests to join his celebration, although it wasn't clear if they were truly guests or hired entertainment. Those who joined him include Pitbull, Shakira, Rihanna, and Jennifer Lopez. Number 15. He'll be the youngest king in the history of Saudi Arabia The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia was founded in 1932, and since then there have been seven kings, starting with the founder Ibn Saud, followed by six of his sons. The current king is the last of the founder's sons that will lead the country, King Salman, who took the throne when he was 79 years old. The youngest king in the history of Saudi Arabia so far was King Saud, whose reign began when he was 51. King Salman bypassed three of MBS's older half-brothers to make the 30-year-old the crown prince. 
King Salman is already 82 years old, and MBS is widely recognized as being the current power behind the throne. Barring any crazy occurrences, he'll become the youngest king of Saudi Arabia within the next several years, and will possibly continue to reign for 50 years or more. Now that you've learned more about Mohammed bin Salman, how do you think Saudi Arabia will change under his rule? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Here's a bonus fact just for you. The entire House of Saud has a net worth of $14.3 trillion, most of which came from the country's oil reserves. However, MBS recognizes that the country will not be able to rely on oil money forever, so he's introduced his Saudi 2030 vision, which includes plans for a half-trillion-dollar megacity in the desert that will have robots, drones, driverless cars, non-segregated zones where men and women can socialize, entertainment venues, cinemas, and more to help drive the economy and encourage tourism. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.